assalamu alaikum dear students how are you i hope you are fine i am also fine at this moment you are staying in your home for the awareness of corona virus i am staying in my home for the same reason i like to invite you for listening my lecture my subject is accounting do you know what is mean by accounting accounting is an information system that identifies records classifies summarizes and analyzes and communicates the economic events of an organization to interested users i think you also well known the definition of accounting but today's lecture is double entry system in the topics of debit and credit i like to invite you to listen carefully my first lecture for the debit and credit dear boys and girls i am starting my lecture for the subject of accounting in the chapter 3 for your textbook double entry system for the class 9 and 10 business studies you are most welcome to accounting class please listen carefully and practice properly okay do you know what is double entry system double entry system is a very defendable scientific accurate and complete system for keeping accounts in the business in double entry system each transaction that measured or measurable in terms of money is expressed in dual entity that is two parties or dual aspect there is no alternative method of double entry system to know the actual or exact result and financial condition of business okay another question for you what is the principles of double entry system maximum five principles or characteristics of double entry system available in modern accounting first one dual entity in each transaction there are at least two accounts while detecting debit and credit concerned accounts are to be identified first and then their classification of account is settled then debit and credit is ascertained by double entry system so first principles or characteristics or features of double entry system is dual entity second one receivable and payable third one making debit and credit the benefit recipient is made debit while the benefit giver is made credit number 4 equal amount of money in each transaction the amount of debit and credit will be equal number 5 principle since in each transaction the debit and credit are analyzed and recorded in equal amount it is 
easy to detect the comprehensive result. Overall, the total of debit side should be equal to the total of credit side. Now we can go our today's topics debit and credit. Firstly, you have to know what is meant debit and credit. You are seeing what is debit and credit in the screen. You can write your copy that is accounting copy. Okay, write down. Just read it. Debit and credit are used to monitor incoming and outgoing money in your business account. In a simple system, a debit is money going out of the account, whereas a credit is money coming in. That is in general sense. Debit and credit. Debit means money going out of the business and credit means money coming in from other business. Okay, we, again, we can see that debit and credit definition. A debit is an accounting entry that either increases an asset or expense account or decreases a liability equity or revenue account a credit is an accounting entry that either increases a liability equity or revenue account or decreases an asset or expenses account that is in accounting sense debit means asset or expense increases item or liability equity or revenue decreases item on the other hand credit means liability equity and revenue increases amount or decreases amount of asset and expense now you can go to the next phase very very important question for any students of accounting department question rules for determining debit and credit or procedure of identifying debit and credit That is the question. How to determine debit and credit? How to identify debit and credit from any transaction or from each transaction? Answer is given below. You are seen in the screen. Modern rules for debit and credit. At first you have to know how How many types of account? It can be said that we see five types of account in business according to modern rules. According to modern system or American system that is current system of accounting. What types? Number one, asset account. Second one, liabilities account. Third one, equity account. Fourth one, revenues or incomes account. Number five, expenses account. But how to determine debit and credit? I have given for determining debit and credit in the following table right side third column and fourth column third column used for increasing amount of asset liability equity revenue and expenses and final 
column decrease that is asset liability equity revenue expenses decreasing item how to determine debit and credit very carefully listen to me what i say when asset is increased then respective asset is debited but when asset is decreased then the respective asset is credited and then liability when liability is increased then the respective liability is credit on the other hand when liability is decreased then it is debit and then equity account in equity account equity when increases then the equity account is credit but when equity account is decreased then equity account is credit debit sorry next account for revenues or incomes in american concept or british concept revenues or incomes when increases then it is credit when it is decreases then it is debit but same rules for assets and expenses when expenses is increased then the respective expenses is debit but when expenses is decreased then expenses account is credit as said earlier if accounts kept under double entry system the total amount of debit is equal to total amount of credit we prepare accounting equation based on this concept the main elements of accounting equation are asset liability and owner equity the income of the business increases owner equity while the expenses decreases the same Okay dear learners have you seen the rules for determining debit and credit i think you have seen the procedure of identifying debit and credit but it will be very useful for you when the rules or procedure will be applied on the transaction now how can we determine the debit and credit from any transaction you can it of course 100% attention to be applied for determining debit and credit in the subject of accounting okay you are seen in the screen how many stages of determining debit and credit at first analyze the transaction and then answer the following questions firstly you have to analyze the transaction and then answer the following questions how many questions to be solved in your sense very quickly number 1 what is being exchanged or changed number 2 what accounts are affected or which accounts are related to the transaction number 3 which of the accounts is increasing or decreasing number 4 which account is debit or credit 
final point is debit and credit but you have to apply the four questions now we can see the example for determining debit and credit dear students you are starting the accounting procedure for determining debit and credit so you have to be very very attentive at this moment please follow my instruction and discussion okay example transactions available as follows number 1 An Almira purchased in cash value of taka twenty thousand. Do you know? Is this the transaction? Yes, hundred percent. This is the transaction. Okay. From previous slide, you are seen in the screen. how to determine as in debit and credit from any transaction okay at first you have to know which accounts are exchanged but what is exchanged purchased an almira almira that is one kind of furniture in cash that is the cash amount bail is up to taka 20000 it's costing taka 20000 okay so you have to determine debit and credit how to calculate it firstly which accounts are involved in this transaction albira one kind of furniture that is furniture purchased it has come in business or almira is in but for buying furniture cash has gone from the business so almira one kind of asset and cash one kind of asset also for this transaction two accounts are involved number 1 furniture account second one cash account when almira purchased then asset increases so from my rules you can see that Almira purchased that is asset increase then the respective asset account is debit so furniture account is debit from the rules or procedure and cash has gone from business that is asset decrease from business so cash decrease that is asset in decrease so cash account is credit for this transaction overall for the first transaction we can determine the debit and credit furniture account debit for 20000 cash account credit for 20000 you are seen in the screen one format for determining debit and credit and note that in this transaction asset that is furniture increased and asset cash decreased you can write it in your copy please carefully
okay i think you are wrote down you are written in your copy now i can go for the second transaction cash brought in business by owner taka 3 lakh cash brought in business by owner taka 3 lakh in this transaction which accounts are involved do you know i think you are very very well known cash brought cash in or out in business answer cash in who brought by owner who is the owner the amount supplied by men in business any amount or any asset any property bought or invested by owner in business that is the business capital so which item brought in business by owner cash cash that is asset asset is in in business so asset increases we know that when asset increases then the respective asset is debit so cash increases in business so cash account is debit this amount supplied by owner in business we know that any amount brought or invested by owner in business that is the amount of capital capital related to equity from our rules we can see that when capital is in business then owners account owners equity account is credited equity means capital so capital account is credit please write down in your copy cash brought in business by owner this transaction alternative oi started business with cash cash invested in business additional cash brought in business additional investment in investment in business by owner there are so many alternatives for transaction bringing capital by owner but answer the following cash account is debit capital account is credit okay we can go to the transaction number 3 goods purchased value of taka 5000 goods purchased costing of taka 5000 but first you have to know how many accounts are related in this transaction you are known that at least two accounts are involved in each transaction so you can determine the debit and credit from this transaction goods purchased it's a regular activity of business but how is occurred in cash or by check or on credit without information 
you can determine any transaction occurred in cash in any business there is the example goods purchase values of taka 5000 and to determine debit and credit for buying goods or for purchasing goods in business Purchase account to be opened and for buying goods or for purchasing goods cash has gone from business. So regular activity of purchasing goods is one kind of expenses for business as expense is increased from the from the rules we can write expense account is debit that that is purchase account is debit another one cash has gone from business so asset decreased from the business when asset decreased then asset account is credit so cash account is credit for the third transaction Again, I am saying this one, purchase account debit, cash account credit, in all time, when you determine the debit and credit, the same format, first column date, second one account title, third one debit taka, fourth one credit taka. Dear students. You have to follow very carefully my lecture and you must practice in your home very carefully practice makes a man perfect you know okay Dear learners, we can go transaction number 4. Goods sold by check of Taka 90,000. Goods sold by check of Taka 90,000. Goods sold. It's a regular activity of any merchandising business. Regular item of income, this one regular item of revenues, goods sold, how, by check, not saying in cash, by check, check related transaction in business, all the time, First check transaction to be opened a uh, bank account. So goods sold. For selling goods in business, always sales account to be opened, which I delivered in the chapter second. That is the transaction. I think you are understood but our transaction goods sold by check goods sold again I am telling this one for selling goods in business always sales account to be opened sales account in one kind of revenue or income revenue or income from rules we can see that when revenue or income increase then the respective income or revenue account is credited goods sold by check check received for selling goods check
all the check related transaction related to bank account so when any kind of check received from other business or person or an institution then bank account is debited because bank one kind of asset bank deposit money that is the asset so asset is increased then bank account is debit and sales account is credit again i am saying for the transaction number 4 bank account is debit sales account credit okay you can go the next transaction number 5 Salary paid to manager for the month of January Taka 20,000. Salary paid. It is also one kind of expenditure, regular expenditure for any business. Salary paid. Salary one kind of expenses. When salary paid then expense is increased. So salary expense account is debit paying amount that is cash has gone from the business we know that cash account is asset account when asset decreased then asset account is credit for this transaction salary expense account is debit Cash account is credit. Okay, dear students, attention please. For each and every transaction, for determining debit and credit, you have to follow the four, four stages. At first, you have to analyze the transaction and then question to be required for determining debit and credit so you can go to the next transaction number six loan taken from imran or loan taken from rana and kong taka fifty thousand loan it's a simple word for any man for any businessman Loan, in general sense, loan one kind of liability. Are you sure? Yes. Loan taken from other source, that is the liability is created. But loan taken from other source, then cash has come in business from other source or other men or other institution or organization so cash is in cash that is asset increase then asset account is debit and loan from other source loan means liability loan taken 